Hi everyone, this is Mom Loves to Collect, and today the spinner chose Sabrina to open up as the Rainbow High Doll of the Week, but first it had landed on you pick. So I'm gonna need everyone's help to pick the doll to open up for next week. The choices for next week are Lily, Budget Daphne, Aisha and Maylene. So if you could put in the comments who you'd like me to pick for next week, whichever doll gets the most votes will be the one that I will go ahead and open up. Well, here is the gorgeous Sabrina. And look at all the stuff she comes with. Not only does she come with her second outfit, she also comes with makeup and a rolling makeup bag. Here is the back of her box. And of these three beauties, my favorite is Sabrina. So I am glad that I get to open her up first. Here is Sabrina out of the box. And wow, I can see why she is everyone's favorite. For the most part, she is gorgeous. And everything she comes with is just beautiful. So she does come with the hair comb and the matching stand. She comes with a hair dryer three makeup brushes, a little pink lipstick, and a makeup palette. As you can see here, the lipstick does open. She comes with this rolling makeup luggage. It's got like diamond textured all around. It even has a handle that goes up and down. Right now it's in the up position, and there it is on the lowest position. It's got a little fold chain handle at the top. The front has a face symbol. I'm not sure what that is. It opens up to reveal a makeup mirror with fold lights got a big deep drawer and two cute little dividers that go on top. Inside there's a shelf. It's got a little drawer. The drawer is pretty deep, can fit a lot of stuff. It too comes with a little dividing tray that goes on top. The inside of the drawers have the RH symbol. The front has two R's. One is facing backwards and even the wheels rotate and spin her second outfit can't wait to see what it looks like on she comes with this rose gold microphone stand and the top rotates looks very old-fashioned because i think these girls were modeled after like the supremes girl group so right now i have her standing just holding on to the mic this gorgeous beauty represents the rose gold color she is absolutely gorgeous. You can probably count how many times I'm gonna say gorgeous for this doll. She has bright green eyes, rose gold eyeshadow in two different tones. She also has some silver glitter at the top and a little bit in the inner eye corner. And she's got the black eyeliner. Her lips are a really pretty bright pink. Her face has some sparkly shimmer to it, which I'm sure you can see. You can see some of her baby hairs. She's supposed to have side swept bangs, but the hair looks too long to me to be bangs. So maybe it's just connected with longer pieces. She has two rose gold hair clips. The top looks like two rectangles with a circle in the middle. And then the bottom one has three circles. She has beautiful soft hair. I don't feel any product in it. It's got the rose gold tones. It is straight and very long. She does have box hair right now because they did have her hair separated into two pieces. I love all the different highlights in her hair, but to me it looks more peach than rose gold or even pink. Her earrings are gold and rose gold. They have the RH symbol at the top. And this particular earring keeps falling from the minute I took her out of the box. Her other earring is the same. Her necklace is a full gold chain. It's got like a little lock and the word rainbow high in black letters. It also has a gold heart charm with the letters RH. I absolutely love her gorgeous mermaid dress. This is so beautiful. So it is sleeveless and it has some stitching details to look almost like a bustier at the top. She's got some gold glitter all over the top. It's got lots of sequins all over her dress as well as more gold glitter. Her belt is a light pink strap and the buckle has the R and the H in gold. I love the high-low mermaid effect and the dress is made up of three layers. So it has this top see-through layer, then it has satin underneath, then it has like a light crinoline material and a satiny ribbon. Here's the back of the dress. It velcros in the middle 
and then you can see the long length of the mermaid tail. The attention to detail on this dress is just magnificent. She wears two rose gold bracelets on this hand. One is a little wider than the other one. On this hand, she wears like a medium size one, very similar to the bigger one on this hand. And it's also in the same color scheme of the rose gold quartz. Her nails are long, but not super long, and they are done in rose gold polish. On this hand, she wears a square silver ring. I just noticed on this hand, her pinky finger is wearing another ring with the letter R, but it isn't painted, so it's very hard to see. And you can also see the smear of the nail polish. Here are her beautiful high heels, also in rose gold. They have an R in gold right here on the side. The front has two straps. On this side, it looks like she has the letter H in gold. I'm very surprised they did not paint her toenails. So look at the cute strap on these shoes. It only goes on one side. Here is her beautiful second outfit. It is a three-piece outfit because it comes with this beautiful fur coat. It is lined on the inside with the RH in gold. And I will put that on next. Her sleeveless tweed top is in rose gold with white. And then it has some sequins along the bottom edge. Her matching skirt has the sequins on the top and on the bottom. It is such a beautiful outfit. The gold sequin details continue all the way around and both pieces just Velcro in the back. She wears knee highs in rose gold. It's a sparkly, shimmery, sheer fabric. Her beautiful heels are light pink and gold. Has a gold buckle accent, a gold high heel, and they are not open toe this time. There is a white and gold bow accent on the side. Her other shoe is exactly the same absolutely love these shoes here is what the fur coat looks like on absolutely beautiful and i think it's actually making the outfit look more glamorous the fur coat is even lined around the collar and that's what it looks like in the back i did have a hard time putting on the fur coat through her hands but in case you're new to rainbow high their hands do come off for easier dressing these dolls are fully articulated but they do not have an ankle joint their heads also can be moved in different directions so she can look down she can look up and she can even tilt her head to the side so that is it for my review of gorgeous sabrina so thank you all so much for watching please like comment share and subscribe bye